So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the U1000 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Nissan U1000 code? Was well, a CAN communication line signal malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the CAN stands for Controller Area Network. And it's basically just a way that the engine control module, the ECM, can talk to other control modules, like the TCM, the transmission control module. And the onboard computer seeing a problem inside of this. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, no why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, there could be a problem inside of the wiring with the harness that's going around everything. There could be an open or a short inside of the wiring. There could be a faulty transmission control module. There can also be a faulty engine control module. And there can also be a bad ground wire inside the harness that goes through the control modules. And so what do you check and what do you do if you get this? Well, first thing, go and check your battery cables. Be sure they're good. And be sure all the connections going all the way down are good that there's no issues there. The negative terminal is gonna be bolted onto the engine block. Be sure that that's good, that there's no issues or anything going on there. The next thing to go and do is to check out all your fuses and relays and be sure that they're all good. Basically go through all your fuses and look for anything that says like engine control system or engine control module or TCM or anything like this. It's gonna vary which fuse and relays it is and where they're located, it's gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the Nissan, the year, the make, things like this. But basically check all your fuses both inside the engine compartment and up on underneath the dashboard. And another thing to do is to locate where the TCM is located and the ECM is located. Again, it's gonna vary, it's, it's gonna be different depending on the Nissan. For example, this is a 2005 Murano and they're located up on the passenger side, up behind the glove box. Here's another example of a 2010 Nissan Altima and the TCM is gonna be located right in front of the battery. So it's gonna vary where they're located, but if you go and locate them, you could go through and try to check out all the wiring going around. You could check out all the harnesses and just see if you see any physical damage. Some people will unplug the harness and then plug them back in and be sure they got good connections and things like this. Trying to test them for an open or short can be a bit difficult. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about doing that. But the next thing to do is go check out the wiring going around everything, the TCM, the ECM, the fuse box, and things like this. And another thing is that you can look and see if the transmission has any damage, any wires going to it are damaged or anything like this. And some Nissans have the TCM located inside the transmission. For example, this is a 2007 Nissan Frontier and the TCM is located up behind this valve body. And if anything was to come along and hit the bottom of this, like a rock or something like that when somebody was driving, then it can damage that TCM, the wiring or something like that. So go examine your transmission. Be sure it doesn't look like there's any damage going on and all the wires and everything going to it look like they're good and there's no damage with any of the wires either. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the U1000 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.